Now, the first and most important rule you're going to learn in calculus is called the power rule. And basically, to figure out the derivative of this right here, all you have to do is take this exponent, multiply it by this coefficient, 4 times 3, which is 12, and minus 1 off the exponent. So that becomes x to the third power. 4 minus 1 is 3. Same idea with here. So I'm going to take the 3 and multiply it with the 2. 3 times 2 is going to give me positive 6, and minus 1 off of the exponent give me x to the second power. Now, for this, I'm going to take the 2, and instead of multiplying by the 6, I'm going to multiply by the negative 6. Negative times positive will give me negative. 6 times 2 is going to give me 12. And minus 1 off of that, give me x to the first power, or I could just write it as x. Now, a little bit tricky for this part, but basically, there's an imaginary 1. So I'm going to multiply the 1 by the imaginary 1 in front. 1 times 1 is going to give me 1, and 1 minus 1 is going to give me 0, so an exponent of nothing. So it's just plus 1, 1 times 1. And lastly, whenever you have a constant, or in this case, just a regular number, the derivative of that is always just equal to 0. So your answer is going to be 12x to the third plus 6x squared minus 12x plus 1, and that's right.